Hey everyone, welcome to my top 10 worst MTV movies. Yes, I did the best, now it's time for the worst. I really don't want to talk about these movies, so again, I'm going to just pound through them as quick as I can because fuck these movies, right? And yeah, let's get to it. Uh, and as a list for our top 10 list, you got to have your dishonorable mentions. And my dishonorable mentions are, there's a few of them, uh, Project Almanac, Get Rich and I Trying, Orange County, Justin Bieber, Never Say Never, How She Move, Jackass 3D, and The Fighting Temptations. All not that good films, just give me the top 10 list, but it didn't make my top 10 list, my number 10. My number 10 is a very bland, sci-fi, ridiculous action film called Eon Flux. Eon Flux is based off a of source of material that I never knew or read about and don't really care about, and Charles there on a great actress, she can do action, she can do comedy, she can do drama, she can do a lot of things, but apparently she can't do Eon Flux, because she's awful in this movie, this movie's ridiculous, has bad horrible choreography, action sequences, it's horribly directed, horribly structured, horribly just everything, music, pacing, writing, everything is an utter failure and it's easily the worst thing MTV's ever been involved in and that's saying a lot. Coming in number 9 is Pootie Tang. You remember this movie? I certainly hope not. It's a dumb, stupid, lame comedy and has a waste of a Chris Rock. That's saying enough because the next movie I'm going to talk about also has a waste of a Chris Rock. So next. Coming to number eight is The Longest Yard. Adam Sandler once again fucks up a remake and fucks up a comedy and fucks up a sports movie. Man, just stop giving this guy work. Uh, Longest Yard, not as good as the original with Burt Reynolds. Fantastic film, really great dark comedy. This movie's just ridiculous and stupid and just plays homage and doesn't have as funny as jokes and it has doesn't even have as interesting characters as the original predecessor. Adam Sandler's awful. Chris Rock, again, very funny guy. He tries to make a few jokes funny, but even him, he can't make this movie good. Waste of a Terry Crews, waste of everyone, and just stupid. Coming in number seven is Martin Lawrence Live. Yes, Martin Lawrence has never been a funny guy. I never really liked his comedy, and I apparently really fucking hate his stand-up because the original Kings of Comedy is a super funny stand-up comedian with some genuinely funny guys. It's just proves how unfunny and untalented Mark Lawrence really is. Uh, the only thing he's ever done that's good is life with Eddie Murphy, and that's all because of Eddie Murphy and Do the Right Thing. He's barely in that goddamn movie. This is super unfunny, super just not funny. It's just nothing to say. It's not funny. It's a stand-up comedian. And it's supposed to be funny. The jokes aren't relevant. The jokes are dated, silly, juvenile, and just, again, not fucking funny. Coming to number six is Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. This movie's supposed to be dumb, ridiculous, and a B-movie, so I get that, but it's still stupid and still dated, still has bad effects, bad characters. I really enjoy, uh, I really enjoy Gemma Arterton, and I enjoy Jeremy Renner, but as Hansel and Gretel, Hansel, Hansel and Gretel, that's just ridiculous and stupid. I guess it's supposed to be like this B-movie and stuff, and like Season of the Witch, and all those other dumb movies like Priest and stuff, so it's supposed to be like that, but those are dumb movies, so... Why? Just put effort into it. Coming number five is The Perfect Score, a really stupid comedy that just doesn't make sense. It's about these people who want to get a perfect score on the SAT, so they try to break in to the school system so they can hack the scores and everything. It's so dumb. It doesn't make sense, and that's not how it really works and everything. Fun fact, it also has Natasha Romanoff and Steve Rogers in this movie. Yes, Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans are in this movie with Erica Christensen, which no one cares about, and this movie is... Not funny, not enjoyable, and just stupid. And just there's like the stoner character is supposed to be the comic relief, and he's just irritating. The characters are bland, one-dimensional, and just it just comes out boring and bland. And it this dumb idea could have maybe worked if the characters were interesting, but there weren't, and it's just it was just boring. Coming to number four, I know is a very unpopular opinion, but I fucking hate this movie. And a lot of people give me shit sometimes for hating this movie, but I fucking hate this movie. And it's Napoleon Dynamite. I hate Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Fuck you. I don't like Napoleon Dynamite. I'm not saying fuck you to the audience. I'm just saying fuck you to this movie because I hate this movie. I don't think John Heater is funny. I don't think he's ever done a movie that I've ever found him funny. Like, come on, like the Mama's Boy movie and the fucking um, Bench Warmers and even School for Scoundrels. Even Blades of Glory, which is a pretty funny movie. He's not funny in it and he's definitely not funny in this film. I know, like, the Pedro jokes and all the dance sequences and stuff. They're supposed to be hilarious. Ha, <laughs> idiot. Ha, ha, ha. It's not funny. It's not enjoyable. I don't like this movie. It's supposed to have this weird, awkward humor, but it's not funny. Like, Wes Anderson's the great at quirky, awkward humor and stuff. Even Paul Feig does really good, awkward humor. But this one is just... 
it's dumb and weird to watch and just, it's not funny and I, I don't understand the love for this movie. I, I can't stand this movie. Can't stand it. Coming to number three is another movie. Ah, uh, for some stupid reason, some people really like this movie. I don't know why. That's Dead Man on Campus. Dead Man on Campus. It has another dumb idea. Apparently, it's about these two guys that want to get, like, perfect grades, but instead of, like, studying for it and working hard for it, they think if they find a roommate that's suicidal, they'll get perfect grades. Because apparently, according to this college rules, if you have a roommate that is suicidal and commits suicide, they think you have trauma for it and they'll give you good grades. And that, that's not how college works. I, I don't understand that idea, but whatever. It has Zach Morris. I love Zach Morris. I think he's a enjoyable actor, you know, I hate Saved by the Bell, but he tries to make this movie work, but his jokes aren't funny. It's not a well-written film and everything. And yeah, I, just, I don't like this movie. It has Jason Siegel in it as well, and it's a waste of a Jason Siegel. And yeah, it also has an Al Alison Hannigan. Again, a waste of an Alison Hannigan. It just, it's not funny, and it just has a dumb, dumb premise. Conan number two is a movie that should be number one, but... I'll get to my number one. Number two is a dumb spoof movie called Dance Flick. Dance Flick is a stupid parody film that's, again, spoofing all the dance movies like Save the Last Dance, You Got Served, Stop the Art, Center Stage, all those dance, even like references like movies that aren't dance movies because why not? I hate spoof movies. Parody uh, satire movies used to be funny, like in the 80s and the 70s and stuff, you know, when uh, the Zucker Brothers and Mel Brooks did it. There was a craft to it. There was a lot of intriguing humor in it. Like Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, The Naked Gun, Airplane. Those are funny satire films. Robin Hood, Ben and Tights. This is just another dumb spoof movie like the Scary Movies and the fucking Disaster Movies, the Epic Movies, Superhero Movies, Meet the Spartans, all those fucking garbage films. They're all the same, and this is just another garbage one to add to the pile. Alright, what's my number one? What's a movie that's worse than a spoof movie? Worse than a dumb comedy premise? Worse than a fucking, you know, Chris Rock bad movie? Worse than a Martin Lawrence stand-up routine? What's worse than all of that? I'll tell you what's worse. Britney Spears acting. That's right, Crossroads. Crossroads is fucking horrendous. Horrendous. This has Zoe Saldana in this movie, too, and, like... I know you're starting off in acting, Zoe, so I'll give you the pass. I love Zoe Saldana. She's so great. Very attractive, but also a very talented actress. This movie's stupid. It's about these girls. They used to be childhood friends, but now they're not, and they end of high school. But then they go on this road trip so because this girl is going to get a music gig. And then they meet this guy who's, who's creepy, but he's not really creepy and stuff. And it's dumb. It's so horribly acted. The acting is awful in this movie. The writing is atrocious. The direction is bad. Britney Spears trying to carry a movie is laughable. It, she is awful in this movie. One of the worst singer slash actresses. She's not an awful singer, but she's an awful actress, though, in this movie's garbage and the worst, the worst fucking movie MTV's ever made. And just, yeah, fuck that movie. <laughs> So yeah, that's my top 10 worst MTV movies. I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly didn't. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, in the comments section below, please tell me, uh, did you agree with this top 10 list? If not, what are your top 10 worst MTV movies in your guys' opinion? So give me your thoughts and opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as well as this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.